The Veracruzana was the first locomotive to run in Mexico. So this week we have a special presenter to talk about it, Joaquin Salibert. Over to you. La Veracruzana, or the Veracruz Lady in English, was built by La Société de Quillet in Belgium in 1849. The first attempt on making a railway in Mexico was back in 1824, when a line was projected to connect the isthmus of Tehuantepec between Salina Cruz in Oaxaca and Coatzacoalcos, Veracruz, and this never became a reality due to the poor founts of the nation back in the day. In 1837, a concession to make a railway between the port of Veracruz and Mexico City was given to a Spanish native called Francisco de Arrillaga, another project that never became a reality. In 1842, another concession was given by the president Antonio López de Santana, this time to a man named Antonio de Garay, to make the same thing as Arrillaga was meant to do. He started making a line between the ports of Veracruz all the way to the fields of Hacienda El Molino, or the Mill Ranch, along with other European engineers. The line's construction started in May of 1842, using animal and human traction. It wasn't until 1849 when the company went to Belgium, specifically to the town of Quillet, in the city of Hainaut, to the factory of the same name of the town. The engine was a 420. The first cargo of pieces of the locomotive, among other machinery and pieces, arrived on the 9th of May of 1849 to the port of Veracruz, on board of the ship Fanny, a ship that had left the port of Antwerp, Belgium, six months prior, and the engine arrived disassembled, and it took about five or six months to build it completely, along with the three to the other parts to arrive. The first driver is unknown, as he arrived and left a few days later, after he had a terrible accident in the workshops. So a second Belgian man came, a 25-year-old engineer named Gustave Romain Denis, who arrived on a ship with the second part of the lot of pieces of the loco. On the 15th of September, 1850, the line from the port of Veracruz to El Molino was put into service. A big celebration took place, even though neither the president or the governor of Veracruz went to attend the event. And that day, the little engine was baptized as La Veracruzana by the Bishop of Veracruz. The engine traveled approximately up to 24 miles per hour, or 40 kilometers per hour. She made a total of 45 minutes in her travel going, returning its mention to have been a little less. The engine ran the line herself, without counting the mules or horses that helped, for about seven years. In 1854, another engine was built by Quillet, La Mexicana, or the Mexican Lady. Sadly, the ship and she was coming in February of 1855, the ship sank near Los Alacranes, in the Gulf of Mexico and the peninsula of Yucatan. So in 1856, another Quillet engine was built, La Poblana, or the Puebla Lady. A 222 patentee delivered in January of 1857, and in early 1864, they received two Rogers 440 American types, built in 1863. La Veracruzana ran a line from the port to the San Juan River, which was finished extension in 1857, where an animal tramway left to Jalapa, Veracruz, and also a branch line to Tejeria. In 1862, the French invasion to Mexico was due to the government having debts with the Belgians, and during the invasion, the line was taken by militaries. The engines were constantly derailed or sabotaged. In 1864, when the Emperor Maximilian arrived, he was received in the port by the engine, who took him to Tejeria, El Molino and Rio San Juan. That same year, the Imperial Mexican Railway was arranged in England by Mexican Antonio de Escandón, who bought the line from Veracruz to San Juan, as well as a line in Mexico City, which ran from La Villa de Guadalupe up to Villamil, and the engines of the line were trespassed. The first number Veracruzana carried was the number one, and at some point in the 1860s she was renumbered as 12. Not much is known prior to this, though it's been mentioned in a biannual report of the line that she was withdrawn prior to 1882, along with the other Quillet Poblana, which was later renumbered as 18, first number 2. Both engines were dropped out of the roster, and the numbers were carried by more modern engines built by Glasgow in Nielsen. Nothing is known to be preserved of these engines, aside from the floor of one of these, but she'll forever live in the history of Mexico and the railways of the world and she'll always be the first number one of Mexico. Thank you very much to my dear friend Anthony for letting me collaborate with him in his channel. 
My name is Joaquin Salabert, and I'm currently writing a book on the Veracruz and Juan Railway. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much, and have a good evening. Saludos y muchas gracias.